After Transatlantic, um, stopped working together because Neil decided to, to go into a more spiritual direction. Um, I was really happy and honored when he called me to uh, join him and play on his solo album, his first solo album. And, and uh, since then, we've gone on to do uh, three albums together, and I'm about to do a fourth with him at the time of this filming. So, uh, you know, I was really honored that he wanted to continue working with me. I, I feel, uh, uh, other than the relationship I have with the Dream Theater guys, I feel, um, other than that, Neil and I have uh, the best musical relationship I've ever had with any other musician. And uh, he's somebody I admire deeply. Um, first and foremost, as a musician and a songwriter, I mean, I am a fan, first and foremost. I've, I've loved, uh, you know, all of the music he's written, him as a musician, as a writer, as a singer. Um, I really admire what he does, and I'm honored to be a part of what he does um, with his solo work. But I also really, really admire him as a, as a person. He, um, he's a great friend, and uh, his, his spiritual and religious beliefs that he's been now following the path of for many years, I, I have a, a great amount of respect for that. And, uh, and I've Really, I've learned a lot from uh, being a part of these albums with him. And uh, we also, in addition to the albums that we've done together, we did a, a tour in 2003 off of his uh, first solo album. Well, it's actually his third solo album. He did two well in Spock's Beard, but this was his first post Spock's Beard solo album, the Testimony album. Anyway, we did a, a, a European tour and also two shows in America. And uh, it was really one of the best musical live experiences of my career. Uh, it was a great, great band uh, with seven, eight, nine guys. I can't remember offhand, but it was a, a big band with lots of different instrumentation. And, uh, and the music, once again, his music is just, I, I put him up there with some of my favorite songwriters. You know, he's up, in my book, he's up there with John Lennon and Roger Waters and Pete Townsend. Um, I really love his work that much. And uh, it's been an honor to work with him. <laughs>
lighting up the pathway before us. There's so much that we can know. There's a godly way to go. Can't you feel he's reaching out for us? Is the best place to be? He's the truth that makes you free. Can't you feel he's keeping his promise? This is principalities, legals, and legalities. They have no more power before us. There's a light that we can see. 